Greetings, YouTube. I spent about 100 bucks worth of units to try to get Iron Doom. I was not only unsuccessful to get Iron Doom or Benedict Spider Batch, a.k.a. Mystic Spidey, but I didn't get any six-star. That's the norm. You know, that's what happens in a batch of 10. But my man, the Bullfighter, not only acquired somewhat recently his six-star Iron Doom, he took him up to rank four and put a ton of six stones into him. And you can see his synergy team is Doom and Cosmic Ghost Rider and uh, Human Torch and Penny Parker. What a synergy team that is. And so he sent over a few quick videos to showcase his rank four Iron Doom off. And I am going to hide my screen to not uh, hide the power of either champion in these videos. So, you know, the shock damage is pretty good. Now, of course, the question I have gotten from so many people, and I've asked it myself, is is it better than non-Iron Doom? Is it better than the Doctor Doom? And that, I don't know. I'm sure he's got some utility that you can't really beat, but the crits, not in the same way, obviously. That Doom Slap doesn't feel like a Doom Slap, but the actual damage is pretty impressive. Now we've got a special three built up already. And I guess I should have asked about his mastery setup, but for the sake of this video, since it's not like he has to worry about mystic dispersion, I don't think it's that relevant. All right, so special three fires off. It's a beautiful special three. As usual, puts the mask back on. Critical power burn. And look at that power control. Keeps him at the special two though it is Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, so I'm not really that worried. Uh, there's more critical power burn. It appears that his power is now essentially locked, and he is just building up to those special twos and continuing to fire them. And that is some serious damage. You will notice that, speaking of serious damage, he is taking recoil damage as Doctor Doom, in either form, is not really suicide mastery friendly, but it is so impressive to just see a rinse and repeat of those specials at the end of the video. And now we go to video numero dos as he is now taking that Iron Doom in to fight Mr. Deadpool. Class advantage helps as well, but this is just a kind of a cool setup to show not only the shock damage and the critical power burn, which this Champion, talk about a good power control champion. It's really the top utility, but not bad damage. I still feel like watching this. I've seen enough incredible rank four OG Doctor Doom videos that I would prefer him, but it's that kind of fight that you're like, <coughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a first world problem. Apparently, I'm allergic to rank four Iron Doom too because I just sneezed. All right, that was video number two. This is video number three. We're just going through these like Iron Doom is going through Defenders. Here is a 75,000 rated beast. Utility, survivability, whatever you want to name it, is so vital to the game and so vital to really the enjoyment of summoners with different champions that that's really the future for Kabam because they know if they give Hercules or Kitty Pride like damage now, they will have to retune the champion and make them worse because of damage output, which will divide the uh, will divide the community even more. And so if you take down the crit damage but you up the utility, I think that makes Kabam feel better about hopefully not retuning a champion. That's not to say they won't retune him or Quicksilver, but you hope not. And there is, again, just a very solid, smooth fight. It's not going to wow you in the same way those big yellow numbers do for some other champions. But how many of us love to fight Bishop? I certainly don't after his buff. And so this becomes one of the best reasons to use Iron Doom is to have the Bishop counter. So let's check out how he exactly counters Bishop, because I do believe even in his champion design, the developers were bringing up this specific matchup saying, yeah, this is how you 
really counter Bishop. And you can see his prowess is removed. Uh, energy vulnerability. He's got the shock. Uh, baits the heavy. Builds up to that special two. Doom slap into the special two. Power burns him. Now it helps that Bishop hasn't fired a special, but that was such a routine and smooth fight that, yeah, that's uh, very nice. And speaking of other annoying mutant defenders that you have to uh, worry about, how about Sauron, somebody that has become especially popular as a defender in Battlegrounds? Now, of course, it helps when you also have Nimrod against him, but maybe you don't have him available. I always get a little annoyed when I'm fighting, say, Sauron, and it's in the arena, and somebody says, just bring in Nimrod, and I'm like, that's not how the arena works. You just can use who you brought in. There you go. There's the critical power burn again. Now, normally it gets to a special one, and he fires off that unblockable, but you can see right here he is not unblockable, and the damage is very small when you can block it, which I appreciate about that matchup. He's got the critical power burn. He's got some regen, but he's building up to a special two, which he does the doom slap into the special two with a crazy amount of damage and power burn at the same time. Another non-unblockable special one, so really doesn't do uh, much damage at all. And he's just being patient, parrying, and then getting him down in the end. Here is the final image of SIG 200 Iron Man Infamous with the Suicide uh, Mastery setup. He is 24,400 rated, 6,200 attack, 39,000 health, and yes, SIG 200. So, Bullfighter, Oliver, good friend of mine. Shout out to Evazone, the exclusive sponsor of my channel. Uh, it's always nice to be able to shout out Evazone. And also to shout out my friend, Oliver. So, thank you for the gameplay. It is quite impressive. And I, I'm going to rank him up when I get him. But it's probably going to be in like 2023. Let's be real.